Previously on The Potentialists. We're going on a yacht. Trying to get to the boat was a serious mission. Well, Musette's 120 feet, three deck, 400 passenger dinner boat. I'm not gonna tell you. We wanna know who ate the bagel. It had to be you. This is what we do. You know what a GoPro's good for? Yeah. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Hyla is a top, uh, high-end vacuum cleaner. I guess the competitors of, of the Rainbow Vacuum Cleaner, if you've ever heard of that. I bought one, and uh, they're not cheap, but boy, they're, they're just awesome. Deerfield, Florida. That's where their corporate headquarters is here in the U.S. And we got invited over to meet with the owners, possibly talking about doing something together uh, for the show. So we're at Hyla, and we're about to meet with one of the founders, I think. No kidding. Yeah, they were Very just cool. in the reality show. Are you serious? Yeah. That is well, so cool. That's what the guy told me. My name is Helmut Gassmann. I'm the president and CEO of Hyla U.S. I had heard that Hyla manufactured a Swarovski vacuum cleaner, and it just happened to me that I was able to finally see it. Tell us about this gorgeous thing here. About this gorgeous thing. This is the one and only Hyla Swarovski edition. This is by far the most bedazzled vacuum cleaner I have ever seen in my life. 32,000 Swarovski crystals embedded on it. In value of $21,900. Yes, $22,000. Which makes it the most expensive vacuum cleaner in the world. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pretty cool. They also had Rest Awareness vacuum cleaner. I think they even had like a Coca Cola red vacuum cleaner as well. So you can imagine it's a lot, a lot of work to put all these griddles I saw that. And, uh, on this, on this Hyla. You guys got to see this cool thing. It's a map of the United States and license plates. Florida has First, one, yeah. two, three. Yeah. Three cut differently. Yeah. Well, That's amazing. Yeah. Later, back at the Boa house, the family welcomed a special guest. Roy is an interesting character. My good friend Roy is in town. Yeah! Hello, everyone. I met him in Belize a couple years ago, and we hit it off. We went on tour uh, around the country, speaking to the kids and stuff, and you know, you can't help but to bond with people when you're on the road with them for a couple of weeks. So he just actually moved to Tampa, Florida because he wanted to work on his figure. I need to join him. There's less of him. <laughs> so if you go back to videos from last year, you'll see a bigger Roy. I, I have been focusing on my workout to be healthier, uh, give me more energy to do the work that I love to do. What do you do? I am a motivational speaker uh, for primarily young people. No, I've been working really hard. I've been going to the gym uh, twice a day for the past seven weeks. Uh, just to, to be healthier, um, it's, I'm, I'm happier, I have a lot more energy, um, hopefully it'll help me live longer. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a motivational speaker, I try to help as many young people as possible not give up on life. So where are we at guys? Sharpshooters. No idea, I'm learning right now. So since Roy was in town, we wanted to take him out somewhere fun, so we all went to a local pool hall, Sharpshooters. <laughs> Am I good at pool? No, not at all. It's a type of heel, but it's not. It's when you wear on your feet, no sandals, flip flops, Elton John um, boots. Pick up his ass. So I absolutely love games and I love that as a family we get together and we all play games because they bring people together and it's just usually a lot of fun and just a way to de-stress and enjoy the people that you like to spend time with. Release, platform, and wooden. And as much as I love games, sometimes things get a little heated, especially when you have different personalities and different competitive people come out, and sometimes you end up, instead of wanting to spend more time with people, kind of wanting to just kill them a little bit. 
you're being a, an asshole, like you can't concentrate and describe the word correctly I mean, because so, it's distracting. What are you trying to do from here? I can do from here. Oh, that's exactly what you're doing. <laughs> right? Right? Uh, when you go um, do, um, into nature for a, a nature walk to the top of the oh, mountain, mountain climbing. Um, oh, uh, we love uh, blood. Uh, no, you can't say um, I no, 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 no. no, I got it. Yo, how you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?